Australia's new daily cases of COVID-19 topped 1,000 on Thursday, the first time since the global pandemic began. Two major hospitals in Sydney set up emergency outdoor tents to help deal with a rise in patients. Sydney, the country's largest city and the epicenter of the current outbreak, is struggling to stamp out a surge, especially with the fast-spreading Delta variant. Daily infections are hitting record levels even after two months on the lockdown. 8 p.m. there were 1,029 cases of community transmission and three people lost their lives and we extend our condolences and sympathies to their families. Unfortunately all three were unvaccinated, a male in his 30s, a male in his 60s and a male in his 80s and again we extend our deepest condolences. And whilst the system is under pressure and whilst obviously the system is kicking in the procedures that we have in place for planning uh, for these additional cases, uh, the system has capacity and I want to make that clear. We don't underscore for a second the pressure the system's under, especially the hospitals within those areas of concern where hundreds and hundreds of cases uh, are currently active. Early on in the pandemic, some 18 months ago, we increased our capacity for ventilators and ICU from 500 to 2,000. Now, we're not intending to use all of those at the one time by any stretch. Uh, and we know the system is under pressure, but please know that we've quadrupled our capacity. So everybody who needs help will get that help. It might be differently to what you've got help before because of the situation, but please know that the system is kicking in. It's under pressure, but it's able to cope with everybody who needs that attention. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.